Depending upon what type of designer you are can can greatly dictate what type of like tools and softwares and resources that you'll need. Um, as for me, as an interactive designer, what I like to use is stuff, stuff that's easily like able to be on the go. So um, I have. The, the first tool that I use is a MacBook Air. Um, something that I can easily take with me, make changes on the go, um, whether it's to a website, to wireframes, or even just to, to write back a client, although I use my iPad for that too. Um, the, one of the best sites that I love, and it's actually at usesthis.com, and it's a guy that basically interviews um, tons of different people uh, and what they do and what they actually use and what they actually utilize. Um, so I'm actually going to like talk about some of the things that I that I use based off of his questions. So you know, being that I'm an interactive designer, a lot of the hardware that I use is um, a MacBook Air, and at home I have uh, a couple screens that I also plug in to to make sure that I'm seeing the colors like the right way because colors can appear differently on different um, monitors. Um, I have an SSD drive because my files are really, really important um, and, and because I'm moving so much, it's better than having a regular drive so that your data doesn't get corrupted. I also make sure that I use Dropbox so that I can access my files from anywhere because it's an online, you know, um, uh, it's an online drive. I also use Dropler, which takes screenshots and also saves to, to the cloud. Um, and then I also use Amazon S3 to back up my computer at all times. So the biggest things are always backing up your computer. As far as tools and resources, um, Adobe um, has beautiful products such as Photoshop, Dreamweaver, um, Fire, Fireworks, which allows you to design for mobile devices as well as websites and anything else that you can possibly need in design is for print. Um, what I use to wireframe is Axure. A-X-U-R-E um, dot com and it's actually a really robust program which you can actually make clickable and usable prototypes to show your clients. Um, Envision app is another really beautiful online app that you can also show interactivity with wireframes and, and everything too. I use Basecamp for collaboration with my team um, and with uh, clients because it keeps everything together. And then I also uh, make sure that I use um, a personal to-do list. Um, one that I use is called AnyDo, any.do, and I use them to make sure that I have a to-do list for today, tomorrow, and then the next day. Nothing too far out in the future because it's really easy to get overwhelmed because of all the work that, that one can do. Um, so I try to make sure that all those are running and going and, and and up to par. Of course, there's alternatives for all of them. Um, I use my iPad to not only sketch uh, when I have like ideas, but also I divert back to paper and pen um, when I have an idea that I can't necessarily get out or don't want to pull out my like laptop on the subway. So there's um there's basically different different tools, and then especially with resources, a lot of there's a lot of good books out there that, that keep you updated on everything that's out there, as well as blogs. So there's a lot of blogs that I subscribe to, um, and you can find out more about that on my website as to what I ex exactly subscribe to and keep current with. Smashing Magazine is also a really good uh, resource that teaches you what's new out there, different problems and programs that people are using or people are having. And then last but not least, Freelance Switch is a really good one too. That gives you different tools and then also a community to kind of talk to as you go along your freelance journey. Mm -hmm.